y'all welcome back to shauna ray a cooking and cleaning channel for busy moms today i'm gonna be sharing three yummy and delicious quick and easy crock pot dinners with you guys these are all made in your crock pot they're all super fast and easy for when you need a quick dinner that is still really really good and family friendly i love these crock pot meals and i know most of you guys do as well so let's go ahead and jump on into them and since becoming a mom, I, it literally is like, I found my purpose. Um. First up is our loaded baked potato soup. For this recipe, you're gonna need some sort of cheese, like cheddar, or I like to use Mexican blend, some diced hash browns, frozen, a 32 ounce bag, eight ounces of cream cheese, a can of cream of chicken soup, um, because I have a, box, a 32 ounce box of chicken broth, my husband accidentally grabbed chicken stock, so that's what we're gonna be using. And then some salt and pepper for taste. So first off, I am gonna be using one of these crock pot liners for all of my recipes. I like these just because they make cleanup really quick and easy. You don't have to use it, it's totally optional. Um, I do get the ones that have, don't have any BPA in them. But anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. So first off, the recipe said to dump your cream of chicken soup and your chicken broth in the crock pot. I want to mix them together first personally, especially since I have the liner and it makes mixing in the crock pot a little bit more difficult. So I put everything in a bowl and I mixed the chicken broth and the cream of chicken soup together first and then I dumped it in the crock pot. Then I just went ahead and also added in some salt and pepper to taste. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our bag of hash browns and dump those in and then give everything a really good stir. Once you have everything combined and stirred together, you're gonna go ahead and cook it on low for seven to eight hours or until your potatoes are tender. Once the time was up, I went ahead and gave it a good stir, stir and I kind of mashed some of the potatoes as well, just cause um, they weren't, they were really still very whole. So I just went ahead and kind of mashed some of them against the side of the crock pot to make it more like a soupy texture. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and put your cream cheese in. You're also gonna go, wanna go ahead and put some cheese in there. I went ahead and put just a handful. You can, it says that the original recipe says about a cup. Just put however much you want in there. And then I also put in some bacon bits that I had left over. Um, if you don't like bacon though, you can totally leave those out. That's totally option. optional. Give it a good stir, cover it back up. And then I went ahead and cooked this on low again for another 30 minutes. Did, I did stir it a couple of times throughout that 30 minutes to make sure the cream cheese was getting incorporated through. Once that time is up, you just wanna go ahead and give it a good stir and then you are ready to serve. This potato soup is so yummy, it's so warm and perfect on like a cold, rainy day, which is when we had it. I loved it, I do top our bowls each with some more cheese because we love cheese in my house, but that's totally optional as well. If you guys try this recipe out, make sure you tag me on Instagram at over at, at Shauna Ray videos and let me know that you made it. It's really good. Next up is some Cajun chicken alfredo. For this recipe, you're gonna need one pound of chicken breast, frozen is fine. You're gonna need some minced garlic, some freshly grated Parmesan cheese, shredded Parmesan cheese, garlic powder. You're gonna need heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need three cups of it, so I have two of these. Some Cajun seasoning, some butter, some sort of sausage link some chicken broth or chicken stock, some pinye and some extra virgin olive oil, and then salt and pepper. I'm just gonna go ahead and start by cutting up my sausage link. I had this one already open in the fridge, so I decided to use this one for the recipe and just use the rest of it. 
in the future, I would use more sausage because it wasn't enough. I wish there was some more sausage in there. I'm just gonna cut that up, throw it in the crock pot, and then you're gonna put about two chicken breasts. Mine are pretty large, but about one pound of chicken in there. And then go ahead and add your chicken broth or chicken stock, whichever you're using. I, the recipe calls for chicken broth, but my husband brought me chicken stock, so that's what I use. And then your three cups of heavy whipping cream will go ahead and get added in there as well. And then you're gonna wanna add in four tablespoons of butter and then you know, some garlic, some minced garlic. Um, it says, the original recipe says two cloves of garlic. I just added some minced garlic in there. And then salt, pepper, and Cajun seasoning, which I didn't measure, I just dumped in. And then I almost forgot, but I did go ahead and add in some garlic powder as well because I personally really love garlic. And then you're gonna go ahead and cook this on high for about four hours. When it's about 30 minutes from being done, I went ahead and cut up the chicken and then I added in my pasta. My, I just used a box of pinier pasta and I just went ahead and added that in and you're gonna want that, let that cook on high for 30 minutes, stirring per, occasionally throughout it and checking it. Mine ended up being done right around 25 minutes, so that's when I stopped it. At this point, I did go ahead and add in more garlic powder and more Cajun seasoning as well because I really like my seasoning. Once the pasta is cooked, I just went ahead and added in my Parmesan cheese and stirred that all up. And then I just left it on like the warm setting for like five or 10 minutes just so the Parmesan cheese could all get incorporated before we served it up. This ended up being my by far favorite meal out of this recipe video. It turned out so good. My son and I have been eating it as leftovers every night for a few days now, and it's great as leftovers as well. The pasta is still like creamy and juicy. Oh, it's just so good. Next up is a keto friendly recipe is the low carb bacon cheeseburger casserole. For this recipe, you need eight slices of bacon cooked and crumbled, about two pounds of ground beef cooked and drained, and you need eight ounces of cream cheese that's very soft. If you forgot to leave yours out like I did, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I use to heat that up. And then you're gonna need about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, half a cup of mayonnaise, and then salt and pepper to taste. So if you forgot to leave your cream cheese out like I did, you're just gonna take your block of cheese, put it in a bowl or some sort of microwave safe dish, and then you're gonna microwave it in 15 second increments, stirring it in between each time until it is soft and a little bit melted. So once the cre uh, cream cheese is all melted, you're gonna go ahead and start combining some of the ingredients. So you're gonna wanna uh, combine the hamburger meat, the mayonnaise and the cream cheese and stir that really, really well together. And then once it's all stirred together, you're gonna season it with salt and pepper to your liking. Now this bowl that I originally grabbed ended up not being big enough and I ended up not being able to stir things. So I went ahead and switched it over to a larger bowl in order to do that and continue to stir it. And then last minute, I decided to throw in some chili powder as well because we love a little spice in our family. And then the last thing you're gonna wanna mix in at least a cup of cheese, of the shredded cheese in there as well. And then you're going to go ahead and put this in your crock pot and just make sure it's kind of flat. So I am gonna use a crock pot liner first. I always use crock pot liners when I have messy recipes. If you don't use a liner, that's fine. Just make sure you spray your crock pot down with some sort of like olive oil or some sort of something to help it not stick, some sort of non-stick spray. Once it's all on a flat layer on the bottom of your crock pot, you're gonna go ahead and top it with at least another cup of cheese. I didn't measure this time though, I just used a handful. And then you're also going to put the bacon on top as well. You're gonna wanna cook this on low for three to four hours. Um, I ended up only doing it about like two and a half to three. Since everything's already cooked, I really just waited until the cheese on tops was melted. 
And then once it's done cooking, you can go ahead and serve. And this also turned out so, so good. It tasted almost just like a cheeseburger, burger, except of course without the bun. Really good. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.